Hey, Gil, love your Roland Garros content. Thank you. What do you think is the biggest reason players like Alcaraz and Sinner are able to win from behind in high-pressure situations, but players like Medvedev and Zverev tend to lose even when they are in the lead? Sinner came back from behind in his first slam final, and Alcaraz recovered from a 1-6 loss with a set point down in the second set to beat Djokovic in his second grass final, let alone at Wimbledon. How come they have such strong mental strength so early on, especially Alcaraz, whereas Medvedev and Zverev have been on tour for much longer and played more big matches? Alcaraz and Sinner are very special mentally, very special. I think experience can be overrated. The more I observe pro tennis, the more I lean that direction. So you just gave one example with Medvedev and Zverev. You know, they now have some significant scar tissue with leads in major finals. Medvedev has lost from two sets to love up in two Australian Open finals. Zverev has lost from two love up in one and two one up in another. So there's significant scar tissue there now. Is that is that experience? It, yes, it's experience. That's bad experience. Bad experience, and I feel pretty strongly about this, Bad experience does not help. Good experience helps. I think this is something that even parents and junior coaches get wrong all the time. They want their their kids to always be playing with players who are better than them. They think, in order for my kid to get better, they need to play with kids who are better than them. And then they end up losing and losing and losing. That's not... Look... I agree that playing with people better than you, at times at least, is healthy and good for a tennis player. You should also get the experience of winning. You need to learn how to win. And feeling wins is super important in my opinion. I just went on a bit of a digression. But let me give you another example. Tsitsipas and Holger Runa. Runa won an exceptional number of matches against top five opponents at the very beginning of his career. Fall of 2022, beats Djokovic, Paris Bercy final. And I, I think he won like five out of his first six matches against top five players or something like that. Another example, Stefanos Tsitsipas. Came out and was a giant killer. Beat Federer early on, beat Nadal early on, beat Djokovic early on. Was someone who just had a ton of belief and fangs against top players. And as they started to lose a little bit more, they lost that they lost that youthful, fearless confidence. They they lost a little something there. And it was so good when it was new and fresh and they had no expectations and they had a ton of belief. And there were no losses to shatter that belief. No losses getting in the way of that belief. So now we're several years later. Holger Runa is a more experienced player. Stefanos Tsitsipas is a more experienced player. But do you trust them more when they go up against elite competition? Or did you trust them more when they were in their first or second year on tour? We got to think a little bit more critically about the effects of experience because I don't think it's always so straightforward.